Hi, welcome back to Selna Tutorials. Today I want to talk about how we use or how we install um, the ISO images in ESXi. So before, before I get started, I want to show you the normal or the classical method of uh, using and managing the ISO files. So right now I have a ES, ESXi server uh, me connected using ESXi tools. This is my server. So if I want to create a new virtual machine, as you know, I have to go here. Uh, create new next next right. Uh, choose the operating system, the network settings right next. But there is an important thing, which is the ISO. The ISO file that should be mounted right here. Okay. Right now we don't have any ISO installed. Uh, it is a new fresh server, so I'm gonna install an ISO and be using it to this virtual machine. The question being asked is, how do I put the ISO in my server itself? One of the options is I go to my configuration, then I go to storage, then I go to storage file, right? I go inside and I do upload. But this upload will be depending on my um, internet speed of my PC. So this PC right now this PC, the Windows PC that's controlling the ESXi will, will be uh, the controlling of the speed say this this server has speed unlimited but my PC right here has speed like uh, 10 megabit then the speed that's gonna be using in this negotiation is only 10 megabit so I don't wanna use this method right and I want to have some kind of fast and the operation. So uh, there is something uh, original in this server, which is the SSH. You know, every every Linux server has its own console for the SSH and so on. So we can go to ESXi itself from the SSH, and we can install and download what we want from the internet directly inside the storage adapter right here in the ESXi, right? So instead of downloading the ISO on my computer, then from computer I upload to this ESXi, I will find another method using SSH. So to enable the SSH, we go to security profile, then we go to services that's called SSH and make sure that's running. If, if it wasn't running, I go to options and do start. So right now it's working and it is in the start mode. Okay. The second thing in the firewall, I would like to enable SSH server and SSH as a client. And I want to make sure that there is no limitation on the traffic uh, that hitting my ESXi from the outside. Right. So once I confirm that, I'm gonna connect my ESXi from the SSH. So I connect directly, exactly as I connect to any Linux server. And here is the password. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm inside the ESXi as you see. ESXi shell. ESXi shell right now. So who am I? Mm -hmm. So not all the features have been working. If I do dfh minus h, I will see the mount files. As you see, the data store file that I've seen here. The data store. If you go to store, data store one. Right. This folder is here. So if I want to install the ISO inside this folder, I move to that folder. Use a cd. 
slash vms vmfs volumes data store one in that folder I'm gonna download the ISO say that I want to install Ubuntu ISO I say download Alright, this Ubuntu is being downloaded on that PC, but I'm not going to install it on that PC. I just want to copy the link. You know, this is what I want. So I go to my shell and say wget the ISO file. As you see, here is the downloading process. So in this process, I'm downloading directly from the internet to the data store file on the ESXi. If I go back to ESXi and refresh, See, this is the Ubuntu file that's being downloaded right here. So now after you install the, uh, the ISO in that location, you can go back and create your VMware and choose that ISO from the ESXi itself. Uh, I think finished. I hope it has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing. Thank you so much.